quicker than the texture of space-time can stay aware of it, and it'll simply tear. I'm frightened by this. As of now, our evening sky is changing quickly, and in a matter of many years, if not sooner, it may turn out to be totally unrecognizable. Cosmologists overall are sounding the alert. Specialists like Neil deGrasse Tyson have as of late affirmed the inevitable blast of Polaris, and the tale behind it is very startling. Polaris, known as the North Star, has for some time been a constant in our evening sky, filling in as a pivotal reference point for stargazers, guides, and space experts. Anyway, this could before long change, adjusting our night sky and galactic estimations. Let's dive into the meaning of this threat and its suggestions for us all. Join us as we uncover the narrative of Polaris as it approaches its end. For quite a long time, Polaris has directed sailors and stargazers alike, standing firm on a venerated footing as a guiding light. Its unflinching presence in the night sky has been fundamental for navigation. However, this stability may soon be upset. In September 2023, a research paper presented by the regarded Royal Astronomical Society cast doubt on the destiny of this divine illuminating presence. Polaris is near the precarious edge of detonating, possibly evaporating from the night sky perpetually. Before we investigate the outcomes of this disclosure, we should see more about Polaris, also known as the North Star or Pole Star. Polaris is unique because of its closeness to the celestial North Pole, arranged straight over Earth's North Pole. It appears practically fixed in the northern sky, found in the constellation Ursa Minor, or the Little Dipper. Polaris shines as a tolerably dazzling yellow-white supergiant star, a lot bigger and more brilliant than our sun. It's not a single star, however. It's part of a complex triple star system, with Polaris A and Polaris B forming a double pair, while Polaris B circles around them. The interactions among these stars create gravitational forces, shaping their orbits and impacting their behavior. Any disturbances in these interactions can lead to sporadic variations in the star's brightness or pulse patterns. Anyway, the specific mechanisms behind these associations remain muddled. Polaris is found around 323 light years from Earth, meaning the light we see from it today began its journey a long time ago. Thus, if Polaris somehow happened to detonate now, we wouldn't notice it until more than three centuries later. It's even conceivable that Polaris has already detonated, and we're yet to observe the light from that event. Over the course of time, the North Star has held enormous social, navigational, and representative importance. Its strength and fixed position made it a priceless guide for old pilots, directing them across oceans and lands. Emblematically, Polaris represented steadiness and direction, staying relentless in the midst of the ever-changing night sky. For cosmologists, Polaris filled in as a crucial reference point, helping with the investigation of heavenly movements and variable stars. As a Cepheid variable star, its occasional variations in brightness have provided significant insights into stellar properties and the nature of variable stars. This characteristic also played a crucial role in determining astronomical distances and calibrating instruments. These pulsations follow a predictable pattern, which has been the standard for the star, making it simple for us to anticipate its behavior. However, as of late, Polaris has wandered from this normal way of behaving. This anomaly in its pulse cycle has confounded stargazers, prompting a closer assessment of this heavenly irregularity. Rather than its normal, unsurprising design, Polaris has begun showing whimsical patterns of dimming, raising concerns among researchers that the star might be moving toward the end of its life. This lines up with behaviors commonly noticed in stars approaching their end. The slow extension of Polaris's pulse period, which was once steady, can be ascribed to interactions within its star system. We've noticed an annual increase in the pulse span of 4.5 seconds, which could seem irrelevant, yet it holds significant ramifications. Some stargazers propose that gravitational interactions between the Polaris stars could be causing these changes in its atmospheric conditions directly influencing its pulse patterns. Anyway, others are more frightened, believing that the star is near the precarious edge of detonating. The similarities between Polaris's behavior and that of Betelgeuse, another prominent star in the Orion constellation, are striking. The two stars have shown baffling anomalies in their luminosity, raising worries about potential explosions, 
as stars in their twilight stages often show such anomalies prior to reaching the end of their life cycles. NASA has expressed elevated concern about Betelgeuse. However, formal attention hasn't been directed toward Polaris. As a Cepheid star approaches the end of its life cycle, it advances through various stages, including the main sequence stage, red giant stage, and, finally, the supernova explosion. In light of Polaris's sporadic pulsations, researchers predict it has entered the phases of helium exhaustion, typical of giant stars approaching their end. These abnormalities in Polaris's behavior line up with patterns indicative of Cepheid stars in their twilight stages. However, Conclusive signs of its impending supernova remain uncertain. Stargazers are diligently examining these inconsistencies to grasp Polaris's destiny. If Polaris somehow managed to go supernova, it would likely be a tremendous event in our sky, potentially eclipsing the moon and becoming one of the brightest objects visible for days, weeks, or even months. Its appearance could drastically change, briefly altering our perception of recognizable star groupings, like the Big Dipper or Ursa Minor of which Polaris is a part. Have faith. The Earth would almost certainly be completely safe, regardless of whether Polaris were to detonate, given its mass and distance from us. While a Polaris explosion probably won't be as visually stunning as that of Betelgeuse, it might still be visible to the naked eye for an extended period and surpass nearby stars. Cosmologists and observatories would undoubtedly take notice, sparking interest within the academic community and among stargazers overall. Anyway, the explicit visibility and effect on Earth's climate or environmental factors would be less significant compared to a closer supernova event. But what about Polaris itself? What will be its destiny after a potential supernova event? We should clarify one thing. While giant stars normally end their lives with a supernova, this is unlikely to be the case with Polaris. When a massive star goes supernova, a huge blast occurs within it, marking the last destructive stage in its life. This cycle involves a complete breakdown of the core, setting off a severe shock wave that causes the star to explode violently. Anyway, Polaris isn't massive enough to undergo such an explosion. Rather, when Polaris depletes its nuclear fuel, it will shed its outer layers and change into a white dwarf. This transition will not result in a supernova but instead a peaceful end as it evolves into a small, very dense celestial remnant. A white dwarf is the remnant of a low or medium mass star that has exhausted its nuclear fuel. It's incredibly dense, about as massive as the sun but compressed to the size of Earth. When this happens, we can no longer see its remnants from our planet, similar to how we perceive the star today. Contrasting the expected impacts of Polaris's explosion with historical supernova events gives valuable insights into the evolution of stars and their ultimate destinies. Contrasting our expectations with verifiable supernova events like SN1987A and later events, such as SN2011FE or SN2014J, provides important data for grasping the potential consequences of Polaris's explosion. For instance, SN1354 resulted in the formation of the Crab Nebula, a cloud that continues to expand and emit radiation across various frequencies, offering stargazers a rich field for study. Likewise, SN1987A, seen in the Large Magellanic Cloud, provided insights into the cycles of nucleosynthesis and the elements of supernova remnants, including phenomena such as the formation of nebulae and the release of immense beams and variations in luminosity, which can offer insights into Polaris's unique qualities. The formation of clouds like the Crab Nebula results from the ejection of material during the supernova explosion, which then interacts with surrounding interstellar gas and dust enriching it with heavy elements and contributing to the cycle of stellar birth and death. Furthermore, the release of immense beams and high-energy particles propelled rapidly by supernova shock waves has implications for astrophysical cycles and cosmic radiation conditions. To make a definitive comparison, researchers assess differences in mass production and velocity of ejected materials between Polaris's expected explosion and other observed events. This includes studying the light curves, spectra, and remnants from these events and projecting similar characteristics for Polaris's expected explosion, evaluating whether Polaris's explosion may lead to the formation of nebulae or significant elemental distributions. This enhances our understanding of its potential outcomes. Another significant area of examination includes assessing the pulsational variability of stars approaching their end stages. Like into Polaris, 
against observed supernova precursors. This relative comparison can help measure similarities or deviations and provide insights into the explosion mechanism. Pulsational variability in stars approaching the end of their lives might be indicative of internal instabilities or impending catastrophic events, offering signs to the evolutionary processes leading to supernova explosions. Regardless of meticulous observations and extensive analysis, astronomers find themselves puzzled by the anomalies observed in Polaris's behavior. Unraveling the unique conditions driving these irregularities holds the key to advancing our understanding of stellar evolution. Understanding the mechanisms responsible for Polaris's unpredictable pulsations requires interdisciplinary collaboration and the development of advanced theoretical models and observational techniques. The potential loss of Polaris as a significant reference point in the night sky presents major concerns for astronomical endeavors. Ground-based telescopes and celestial measurements would require recalibration, affecting the accuracy of astronomical assessments. The absence of Polaris could also impact navigation systems and cultural practices based on celestial landmarks, highlighting the importance of this celestial event. The mysterious behavior exhibited by Polaris underscores the need for deeper investigations and dedicated research efforts. Astronomers must grapple with the complexities surrounding its irregular pulsations and present substantive responses, recognizing the significance of advancing our understanding of celestial complexities. Ultimately, the answer to Polaris's destiny remains uncertain, and only time will reveal its true nature. Nevertheless, the quest for knowledge and understanding, in the face of vast uncertainty, is a testament to the enduring curiosity of humanity in unraveling the mysteries of the universe. The ramifications of Polaris's potential change extend beyond simple cosmic curiosity. They address the very fabric of how humanity comprehends its position in the universe. Throughout history, celestial bodies have served as markers of time and navigation, guiding pioneers across uncharted waters and lands. The loss of Polaris wouldn't just disrupt traditional navigation techniques, but could also have far-reaching consequences for cultural folklore and imagery tied to the North Star. In various cultures, Polaris has been pivotal to mythology and spirituality. For instance, Native American tribes often viewed Polaris as a guiding light in their stories, representing hope and perseverance. Similarly, ancient Egyptians utilized the North Star in their architectural designs, aligning pyramids to its position overhead. The vanishing of such a significant star could alter cultural narratives and the collective human experience associated with navigation and direction. Moreover, the scientific community stands to face substantial challenges if Polaris were to disappear. Cosmic measurements and observations heavily depend on established reference points. Polaris's role as a constant has facilitated the calibration of instruments and models used to study distant galaxies, star formations, and even the expansion of the universe. The sudden absence of Polaris would necessitate recalibrating many of these systems, potentially leading to discrepancies in measurements and understandings of cosmic phenomena. As astronomers shift their focus to observing Polaris more closely, new observational innovations are being developed. Advancements in spectroscopy and photometry allow researchers to analyze light emitted by stars in extraordinary detail. These tools help in detecting minute changes in brightness, which are essential for understanding the mechanisms driving celestial behavior. As specialists gather more data, they hope to refine their models of stellar evolution, particularly concerning stars in the later stages of their life cycles. The study of other similar stars, such as Cepheids and Red Giants, offers insights that may prove significant. For instance, Astronomers are observing factors like the period-luminosity relationship, which aids in estimating distances across the universe. By contrasting these stars' behaviors with those of Polaris, researchers aim to gain a clearer understanding of stellar dynamics and evolution, enhancing their appreciation of our galaxy's architecture. Furthermore, as the search for exoplanets intensifies, the investigation of Polaris and its companions becomes increasingly significant. Understanding the characteristics of stars in triple systems can provide crucial insights into the formation and habitability of planets orbiting them. Astronomers are keenly interested in how such stars influence their environments, potentially affecting the conditions under which planets form and evolve. If Polaris does experience a significant event, 
such as the pulsation leading to its transformation, it might also serve as a stellar laboratory for studying the life cycles of stars. Such events wouldn't only provide a window into stellar demise but could also illuminate aspects of nucleosynthesis, the process by which elements are formed in stars. The remnants of Polaris could contribute to the interstellar medium, enriching it with heavy elements essential for the formation of new stars and planets. The educational implications of Polaris's potential explosion are also significant.